Yeah, good evening from Auburn, Alabama on the campus of Auburn University, which is the center of the SEC universe as far as sports go for the next 24 hours because tonight the Auburn Tigers will take on Iowa State in a big gymnastics meet and then tomorrow at noon it's the biggest game in the conference. The Auburn Tigers and the Kentucky Wildcats and students here at Auburn, well, they're fired up for it. What do SUNY Lee and Bruce Pearl have in common? Well, they're both two of the biggest names in Lee County at the moment. The Olympic gold medalist and boisterous head basketball coach have turned Auburn University, typically known for their football passion, into one of the most passionate winter sports fan bases in the entire country. So we got caught Pearlville behind us, named after Bruce Pearl. I've been out here since about 2 o'clock today. I skipped my uh, class this afternoon, but I'm excited to camp out with the boys. We've been slowly transitioning to a basketball school, especially since we're undefeated in the SEC. This team has been so much fun for this school. These fans love the team, the coach, everybody. This, the kind of excitement we've seen for these players is something I've never seen before at any school. A lot of people are actually going to the gymnastics beat to see our gold medalist, and, uh, but everyone's going to the basketball game tomorrow, so it's going to be a big game. And between SUNY Lee and, of course, Bruce Pearl, there's a lot of action going on on this campus outside of the football program. Of course, the Auburn Tigers always dominate the headlines on Saturdays in the fall, but for the winter, well, gymnastics and hoops have taken center stage. From Auburn University, I'm Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 Sports.